Hello everyone, welcome. In this video we are going to update or upgrade our RAM in Dell Vostro 7500. So this is a Dell Vostro I got from a uh, Facebook marketplace. $440. This came with 8GB of RAM. It is soldered on the motherboard and we have a DIMM for extra 8GB or 16GB or 32GB that you can install. I installed one RAM but it was 2400 megahertz so it is keeping the speed low uh, I'm gonna be upgrading it with I got two RAM sticks here for a laptop uh, this is with this is 8 gigabytes 3200 megahertz this is 4 gigabytes um, 32 megahertz these are the only ones I have at the moment and I have another 8 gigabytes 2400 megahertz inside so I'm gonna replacing it with this one over here <coughs> let's get this done with so for that let's go and get our tools if I can find the link for this toolbox I will be placing it on the um, description part this was from Amazon I bought it for $17 or something like that it came with everything here uh, the magnetic pad the uh, openers and everything they can ever imagine here I got brush and all those other extra stuff so I will be getting this this is magnetic by the way so Okay, let's just open the screws here on the bottom case. There are no hidden screws, so this is good. Going to opening this. So these two don't come off. These are secured in a place. With 16 gigabytes of RAM at the moment. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM installed already, you know, you can go ahead and install another 8 gigabytes, and 16 gigabytes will be okay. Of course, depending on what you're doing on your system, on your computer. Let's just try to unscrew this a bit more. Okay, this is good. This is good. Try to be gentle. Do not go too harsh. Try not to rip it off, you know. You just go gentle. If it doesn't open, don't be afraid. Try more. Try to open it. If you're afraid of trying to open it, then you'll break it. Oh, I forgot. There is one on the top too. Another one. It's in the middle. It comes off. I forgot about that. So let's be careful about it. Okay. Let's go off. Yep, yep. Let's just make sure this is also good. This is off. This is good. Open the case like that. So she used the laptop very clean. There is no dust, the fans are okay, there is no dust in the computer, in the laptop. I upgraded my laptop with 1TB of uh, NVMe, there was another um, another 256GB um, of SSD already installed. I added another 1TB and the RAM, RAM DIMM is here. So what we're going to do is we are going to pull from both sides these these uh, 
holders these arms they're gonna pull from both sides but before you want to do that you always want to discharge the battery disconnect the battery so I will open my kit again try not to touch it with anything that is magnetic or metal I have a plastic pen here I'm gonna disconnect the battery I don't want to come off okay nice so let's pull the arms to the sides and this came off that's easy this is Kingston 8 gigabytes of RAM I don't know if you can read it uh, I think you cannot So, anyways, this is uh, Kingston's 8 GB of frame to 2400 megahertz. Like I said, there is 3200 megahertz inside. It's not that it's going to affect the performance that much, but it will keep. Uh, why wouldn't you want to use all the performance in the uh, memory? Let's just install the RAM. Let's push it and push to the bottom. You don't have to pull the arms to the sides this time. You just put it, push it on the bottom, and you will hear the click like that. And it is safe in the place. After that, we are going to connect our battery back in. Okay. Okay, now we have connected our battery, we have installed our RAM, I am going to put my old RAM inside the box, so it doesn't get any damage, it doesn't get damaged, but let's just install, oh, yeah, this is good. I'll put my other RAM to the side. Okay. Let's just go ahead, put the bottom lid back. So we're gonna be pushing them. Oh, before I actually do that, let me go ahead and check one thing before, uh, with the laptop. I kind of wonder what the hinges are, are like, you know, maybe we need to tighten them or something. kind of want to check since I'm already inside the laptop. Okay, just a little over there, a little over here. Okay, I don't see any other problem. The hinge. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem at all. Okay. 
Okay, this seems all done. Let's put the tools to the side. Let's turn it like that. Open the bottom lid. Okay. Then you open the lid. But that turns on. It takes a little while when you switch the RAM. It is going to read that. Uh, And we also disconnected the battery and connected back again after a couple seconds. So if it doesn't turn on right away, right after, it is okay. Just wait for a couple seconds.